Hello, in this video, I'm going to tell you about the difference between linear and nonlinear periodization. Now, if you're not familiar with periodization yet, I recommend watching the video that I actually just posted yesterday on the topic, and I included a link uh, to that video in the description below. Uh, but if you're ready, let's go ahead and talk about linear and nonlinear periodization. Um, so linear periodization refers to the progression and change in variables that happen in a linear fashion. So like they happen in order in a predictable sort of way. Whereas nonlinear is where we are changing variables around in a nonlinear way, where it's kind of we're up higher, lower, higher, lower, or more, heavier, you know. So we're changing the variables in a way that is nonlinear, and that's where it gets its name. Um, so in linear periodization, the intensity progress progressively increases. Um, and to accommodate, the volume also has to decrease. Um, and we're making minor variations uh, within each microcycle. Whereas in nonlinear periodization, the volume and intensity vary week by week. So instead of having a gradual increase over time, we're having, you know, we might increase and then decrease and then increase and then decrease with an upwards trend, essentially. Uh, linear periodization is good for beginners. Uh, but nonlinear linear periodization is better for anyone with more experience and especially the very experienced or elite athletes. Um, so the body adjusts to linear periodization. So in the beginning, a, a beginner is going to get a lot of really great results no matter what you do, really. Um, but as you become more and more experienced, the body gets better at sort of predicting this linear increase in the variables. And so we want to keep the body guessing and change them around a little bit more. Uh, so research has shown that you actually get greater gains, what, whatever that, um, whatever the goal is, whatever the gains are, we actually experience greater gains from nonlinear periodization compared with linear. Uh, so linear periodization will cause progress, especially for beginners, uh, but not quite as much progress as in nonlinear periodization. Uh, linear periodization usually focuses on developing strength, whereas nonlinear, we can focus on all sorts of different things like hypertrophy, strength, power, endurance, um, because uh, we're varying the variables so much, we're changing them up so much that we can have different workouts throughout the week that are targeting different goals. Um, in linear periodization, we change the training variables less frequently and they tend to evolve in a linear way. Whereas in nonlinear periodization, we train we change the training variables much more frequently. Um, and so it evolves in a less predictable way over time, which is why we get better, better results and better gains, because your body isn't able to predict that kind of linear progression, because it's not linear, it's nonlinear. All right, thanks so much for watching this video, and I hope you have a great day.